have in my hand here a, a section of CAT6 uh, indoor cable. This particular roll is uh, 100 uh, meters long. And if we just look at the front here, you can see all the specifications given out. So the cable itself is just marked out in, um, you know, from one to 100 meters. So if you're cutting off a length, you can actually see exactly what length you've used, things like that. And that can be quite handy. And uh, what I've done here with this section is I've actually just pared down the end of this cable and I just used the pull cord here just to rip it down and divide it into its four pairs. So the first thing we'll notice and one of the significant differences between a CAT5 and a CAT6 cable is the CAT6 cable has this central cord here. So what it has is four slots in it. So it means that we can actually push any one of the four pairs that make up the cable into the slots here and it goes in uh, quite neatly. And then the second thing, um, about it, apart from giving extra strength to it, to such a design minimizes the level of interference and that's obviously quite advantageous. Uh, the material in it is CCA, so it's copper clad aluminium and uh, the overall uh, speeds in this uh, are quite good. Now you could spend a lot more money and go for a pure copper content, but certainly the, this particular version here massively outsells the pure copper version, simply because the speeds in it are still very impressive. Um, in terms of the overall range that we have, in the CAT6 range we have uh, the 50, 100 and 305 meter box versions uh, indoor and out and we also have the equivalents in uh, CAT5 as well. And we obviously have a lot of other products inside our networking section, um, just patch cables, home plugs etc. So that's it. So once again it's just an overview recap of the 100 meter CAT6 uh, cable.